Good morning, wonderful people. Welcome to my channel. A quick seven point presentation on understanding awakening for all you sensitives, empaths, healers, everyone out there and anyone who is otherwise too. What is awakening? I'll take a chakra perspective over here. You need to follow the human being model on the left as well as the top one whom we are trying to bring as a grounded human being in the new world. This is not the new world order folks. This is the ones which we are changing in the energetic level. Okay, so follow me here quickly. New energies are coming in from above the cosmos. You can do a lot of search on YouTube and everywhere which sensitives are picking up first. Okay, they're just picking up first as well as from the ground up from the earth itself. Okay, ground sensitive people will feel like the whole planet has changed. Uh, energies on the planet have changed. This doesn't feel like the same planet anymore. So it's coming from above, it will feel like coming from your head down to your toes. Some days the ground, it will feel like energetic vibration. Okay, and it will continue to. These are constant, dynamically changing from from now, from 2022 upwards and shall continue into Capricorn phase of the shift. What is Capricorn phase of the shift? See my video on Capricorn. I shall probably link it up here. It's on the shift of the planet. I made a whole astrological perspective on it. So if you feel different each day now, you are among the millions around the world. So don't feel isolated. Do not be worried or concerned about this. Ask more questions and let answers come to your mind. This is the most ideal way to navigate this phenomena. By the way, I have shown the blue arrow on this human is coming down from the cosmos, coming trickling down through these centers and the orange arrow upwards as from the earth. Both are going on simultaneously and they will change all these chakra attributes, the way they function. From top down on the right is all the chakra attributes and what it is changing on the left side in the human being. Okay, keep this figure in mind while I go through these points. So this creates a top-down change of how you think. What does this new energies bring? This creates a top-down approach to how you think, feel, connect with whom and to whom around the world. This is very dynamic. So only choices you have is to move with it. It's a very dynamic kind of thing. It's like going ice skating with another person. You have to move dynamically. Okay in a way that is in line with your intuition. Why? Because intuition changes as these energies come from here and as these go up. And any thought, idea or awareness just pops into your head when you are hardly thinking about it is intuition. This is a brief definition of intuition. Okay? You are not thinking about it at all. It just popped in your mind. Oh, ah, I had this kind of epiphany or I had this kind of idea to do whatever it is that you are doing jot it down, write it, capture it and work with it. There is something there for you. Okay, That's the way you need to work with this. Number three, this also creates a bottom up approach, the orange arrow from your root till the top. So how you think and feel about your survival, where you consider to be your home, what survival means to you now, what creativity means to you now, how you connect with others now, what you feel in your heart now, all are changed now and all move in completely different directions. This is why predictive astrology is dead right now for you in your life. If you do any predictions, the astrologer is saying, this is not the way I feel about life anymore. This is not what I choose to do. Or this doesn't make any sense to me. As you start to make new choices, both individually and collectively, better to understand your individual personality using astrology just to get a head start on your talents and abilities that you were born with. This is why I focus only on that in my work. That is the only value addition you can get from astrology these days in the new energies. Don't be too consumed with survival now. We are going beyond it. If you have some food, shelter and clothing, move on. Move to higher parts of you, the blue, green and red dots in that picture over here. These are the higher levels of you. The reason why humanity was stuck in all these time in this yellow chakra is because we were only taught how to survive, how to get food, how to shelter ourselves okay you need to get a job you need to get food for yourself you need to work your job till the day you die only 
for these aspects. This is why humans have been unable to move to the higher levels of all of this. If a person is stuck in survival, you can't talk to them about creativity. If a person is worried about job, you can't talk to them about heart connection. You say, what heart connection? There is no heart connection. Intuition is the last thing they will think. They will just go about flipping burgers all their life. So this is what is changing. Now we are changing. That's the good news. Okay. As more and more humans, number point number four, as more and more humans break out of survival mode, surge in creative projects, both individually and collectively, will also expand exponentially in the world. This is not a linear expansion. This is exponential, meaning it's logarithmic or it's multiplied by a factor. It is not one plus one equals to two. It is hundred multiplied by hundred becomes hundred whatever, 10,000. Surge in creative projects, both individually and collectively, will also expand exponentially in the world. Humans would want to feel something in it for themselves rather than buy into what others are marketing or selling. This is why all the marketing approaches are failing now in the new energies. People are doing 101 advertisements on Facebook, on YouTube and this and that. Everything is not working. Why is it not working? People are more internally aware and awake now than previous generations. Tap into your belly center, that navel red dot over there. Think from there, what do I want to create today? What makes sense to me today? And move with that without too much comparison to the past. Remember we spoke of previous videos, mind only knows the past and will recount only defeats, negative opinions of others, parents, teachers, friends, family, etc. Okay. So mind only knows the past. If you keep banking on your mind, you are surely, you are surely going to revolve around the same spot. Okay. Number five, as heart wounds from previous lives or this one, heart wounds are all those which you were told in your childhood. You're not good for this. You're not good for that. You can only do so much and you can only be so much. Those are all the limited perspectives of your teachers, your parents, everybody else around you. Okay. It can even come from previous lives. We don't want to go there in this one. As a result of these energies, the blue arrow and the orange arrow, what happens? Higher perspective aspects like empathy, heart resonance and connection to everything, including humans, comes to an unprecedented levels everywhere. This has not happened before on the planet, folks. This is the first time we are going here. People will want to do what is right rather than what was told or programmed into them culturally or even by their charismatic politicians. When this happens, the self-care is vital. Some days you might feel emotionally exhausted, drained, tired. You don't know what to do or think or feel anymore. It's like a feels like a dead energy. That's the time you need to rest, rejuvenate, regenerate. Like the new human being, we have the regenerate there. Number six, as creative identity starts to bloom, Creative identity is that red center. Career choices, what we do as work, how we connect to others in our daily life, what kind of work, job, or profession, or business, or entrepreneurship do you choose? Changes to a higher level. Since survival is not much of a criteria now, this is breaking off. So it, energy has got freedom to move the, to the upper centers. How you engage in the world also shifts. Get creative in whatever it is that you are doing. You are a highly creative being. Every human is. What will help is releasing those things of survival first. Letting go of questions like how will this earn me money? Or how can I buy a house with this? This will bring you downwards. See, you are in charge of your energy fields. Okay? Each one of you. So if you keep going downwards all the time back to comparison to survival, how are you going to move upwards and gain a, gain a better holistic sense of what your life is about? The creative center does not really care for home, family, work, those kinds of things. This is why most creative people, and you, you can look up all the creative geniuses, they didn't really bother about their physical surroundings, family, work. They focused all their energy on their creations. If you need to work with your creativity, it's more than a fancy word, folks. You cannot get creative, individually, uniquely creative, if you're not working out of this yellow dot, if you're not moved your energy up, you'll always be stuck in thinking about your home, your next food, your next piece of clothing. Intuition, number seven, intuition, clarity, 
of thought and awareness are also expanded now we are talking about the blue dot at an unprecedented level energies are available tuning in would help it's like tuning your radio station and this intuition energy enables mastery of human of their own life empowering choices better more choices can be only available if they are intuitively known now why intuitively known because if you leave it to your mind it will only go back to the past or it will only go back to known knowledge in the humanity if you sit and google stuff it will only give you what has been done it will never give you what you can do new this is where the new creativity comes in picture bringing this energy downward from top to all levels you can change the way you earn money you can change the way you connect and what you do creatively you can change the way you connect to people all of this stuff you do not have to lose one area of life to gain another or be different this is the very linear human mind if i have to do this if i have to be creative i have to forget about this or i have to forget about cooking food for myself no you don't you can do all of them and still retain balance and ground in your life finally just breathe take some moments in a day to breathe visualize as if you are breathing from the top of your head and it going all the way to your root incoming breath from here to here outgoing breath from here all the way out if you just do this it will clarify your energy field it will clarify all the things that's going on like a jumble inside your system because this can get very complex to sit and sort out individually in your life you can spend an entire lifetime and still not be done that way well there is an easier way just focus on breathe take quiet moments of the day early morning would be better to do this and then it clarifies and purifies in a way that even 1000 videos that i make of myself or anybody else that you keep watching will not help because that cannot bring you what you can bring to yourself it's that simple it's individual and yet it's collective that's the way we are working now that's the way we are learning to operate now nobody has to lose individuality you don't have to blend with the collective you're always born individual you're here as a unique individual for some reason how will you get to that uniqueness well i've given you some tips here for you to think about okay i'll put this on my podcast also if you're listening this on my podcast you can look at the presentation on my youtube channel be safe be awesome and be creative wherever you are people have a safe day